Hello everyone, Jeff here. So we're going to have a little stem plant race. It's going to be Bacopa, aka Money Wart, versus Anacharis. So that's Bacopa on the left, Anacharis on the right. They're both the same, cut at the same height right now. And they're going to race to see who can reach the surface first. Okay. So, on your mark, get set, go! Okay, so why aren't they going? Well, yeah, that's not going to be immediate. Um, it may be weeks before they reach the surface, or even, you know, be... You could see growth, you know, notice growth in a day, but... I just put both these stems in here. Um, I, you know, the the Vegas odds have Anacris as a favorite. I figured I'd, you know, I, this is the first time trying Bacopa in here, so I want to see how that grows. Cause this is my my ten gallon mutt guppy tank. So. About a little over a month ago, I added this submersible underwater LED light, and I'd bet because you know this aquarium kit with this the hood it had two sets of lights, one here and one here, and we still have one on this side, but the left side the you know, the light just wore out and stopped working, so this side of the tank had been dark. So I got that LED light and, you know, added that. And since then, before, you know, when I had the original hood lights, I did have anacra stems in here and they did grow, but then once this side went dark, it all died. And then, you know, after putting this LED light in, I put these other um, Anacra stamps, stems in again. And one of them, this one already, maybe, you know, it's been a month ago, you know, reached the surface and curled over. And I put that other one further back in at the same time so that you know sprouted two separate stems and that still hasn't reached the surface. <clears throat> so when it was Anacris versus Anacris, Anacris, that front Anacris beat the back Anacris. But now I'm trying the cope in here, so we're gonna see, you know, how that grows. So this tank I haven't have not added any fertilizer so just you know just whatever um, ammonia absorb uh, not ammonia nitrate absorption and you know just whatever from the light how much they grow from that so you know this java moss here That continues to grow. Um, I probably initially added maybe about 25% of this, what you know, what I have now, and that's not even including the times that I've pulled some out. But <clears throat> you know, even with bad lighting and no fertilizer, Java moss for me grows pretty quick and. In my other tanks it grows where I do have had fertilizer and have better lighting it grows even faster. And I've heard others say that moss does not grow fast but I beg to differ. Um, so here we've got it's the spider wood one of the pieces of spider wood that I bought off a seller from Asia on eBay about three pieces for five dollars. I 
um, a couple weeks ago I, I did an unboxing video with that so this piece here that's the um, the small size I bought a small and um, I bought an extra small a small and a medium so that's the small I just put it in here just for the hell of it and in that same spiderwood unboxing video you know I was talking about how you know ordering you're just gonna get random pieces when you haven't seen them so I did mention how I also received oka stone or dragon stone or oka rock um, sight unseen just ordered 10 pounds so this is the one pound piece here that I ordered from aquarium co-op I ordered 10 pounds and this is I got a nine pound piece and a one pound piece so I just threw the one pound piece in here and I also mentioned from doctors Foster's and Smith I ordered some random driftwood so that Malaysian, um, yeah, um, Malaysian driftwood right there. I think that's what it's called. Um, it was just a flat piece. That one I didn't like, so I just stuck it in here. It's all blocked by the Java moss. Yeah, so I haven't really shown this tank much because it's been so dark, but now it's lit up and colorful. So I have noticed some of the guppies in here are kind of banged up. A couple of them. There's one right there. It looks like it has a couple wounds on it and it's little hunched over that one's kind of not looking kind of weak too so I did just um, receive some erythromycin <coughs> from I ordered on eBay in my latest unboxing video that I just submitted so but that just in time, I think I'm gonna need some to use in here. That or I might cull, pull out a couple of these guppies and move them to my three gallon banishment tank. There's a couple, that one that I pointed out and there's another one that I saw that had a really, it's really hunched over. Let's see, we've got the my bronze corridors. One of them did die. Um, I now have four. I you know, it might have been it's a while ago, but I haven't done any updates on this tank, so but yeah. One of there's one back there too. I've also noted, and there's one pen, yeah, so there's one, two, three, four. I have also noticed that these guys have nice, long, healthy barbells compared to my 30 gallon where I have Julie corridors and, you know, part of that, that substrate is mixed with Eco complete, and I guess the eco complete has like some of that substrate is you know two jagged edges, and their barbells seem to be worn down, which is a shame. But knowing that, <clears throat> I don't think I'll ever be getting eco complete again because I prefer corridors over planted type substrates I'd rather just get a regular you know substrate and use root tabs if I was gonna have any root feeding plants 
All right, let's get back to the plant race. Who's winning? It's a tie. Yeah, we're not gonna know until... We'll see who can, even like a day, we can see who takes the lead, but it'll be a while before we really declare a winner. But yeah, I'm just curious to see side by side which one will grow faster and win the race. And I use that as an excuse to show this tank that I haven't really shown in a while. There's the uh, one of my favorite male guppies right there. Light red like that. It's you know, all the other most of them are darker or have those like silver light oh this one right here I like too. It has more of like a rounded, small, like platy type tail, which I like compared to big long tails. And it's like it's silveriness. Like a lot of the males in here are these lyre tails, lyre tails, which are cool, but what's cool to me is what I, what's unique and stands out, so. Like that guy. And wherever that other one went. And got a couple female very varietus platies in here and the male Mickey Mouse platy. So I still haven't seen any platy fry in here yet. And there's a should be a red There's a red Mickey Mouse female platy in here somewhere. Last time I saw it was somewhere hiding in the Java Moss. But when I put these in here, they were um, juveniles. Like they would have been, you know, should have been virgins. They were young enough because I wanted them to. I wanted to experiment and cross that male Mickey Mouse platy with the brightest platy females and see what kind of funky babies they might have. Yeah, all right well that's it for now and in case you didn't already know I'm Jeff and I enjoy fishies and I enjoy kitties thanks for watching